Hey guys, it's me, your friend Jimmy. It's summer here in Korea, and I thought it might be really nice to go to the beach. I was trying to see if any of my friends can go with me. Turns out, nobody could or wants to go with me. So guess what? I went by myself. It was going to be a long drive from Seoul to the East Sea of Korea. Sure, it took some time. The drive wasn't really that bad. After about 3 hours, I got to Gangneung, which is a city in the east side of Korea. By this time, I was extremely hungry. And I found this local restaurant that's supposed to be super amazing. But I'm the kind of guy that can handle lonely, can't handle hungry. So the food comes with kimchi, the Korean essential. We think this is better than anything else in the world. And uh, most importantly, I got this noodle. It's called I feel like I'm supposed to have something better to say, but this to me feels like a very well improved version of an instant noodle. This is kind of random, but there was a playground. And they had a fence with barbed wires. And I couldn't help but be amazed at how genius this is. Wow, what a way to keep children safe. Maybe I should do it to my own kids' room when I have them. This is something that other countries should learn from Korea. So guess what? This is the place that I'm gonna stay tonight. I paid like a hundred dollars for this. And that's the beach. So how beautiful is that? I just hope that the place isn't dirty. Well, the moment of the truth. <sighs> Looks alright. It had that cheap love hotel vibe, but could have been a lot worse. I'm about to head out and check out some bikini girls. I'm, I'm about to head out and feel the nature. If I feel like it, I might have to go shirtless in front of people. Bet a lot of people are gonna check me out, and it's gonna make me feel less lonely. I had to pass this checkpoint where they measured my body temperature and recorded my phone number before entering the beach. Wow, these girls got my number. Well, I guess that's kind of cool. I came here on a weekday, so there weren't that many people. Mostly family with kids. Hmm, not exactly the vision that I had in mind, but this is also nice. I rented one of these umbrellas and a tarp for a massive amount of $15. They didn't let people in the water for a while because the waves were too high. So instead, I decided to turn on my stream and walk around for a while. You guys actually want to see my body? If that matters so much, hold on, let me show you. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me set up my camera here like that. Ooh, this guy was out. Freaking double these all natural men. Not about them on um, implants, you know what I mean? No disrespect to those people that have implants. I'm just saying, I got these God gifted double D's, all right? It hurts me so much when I step on them. This is so tiny. It's so tiny, isn't this cute? It's so small. This is the shell that never worked out. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw him back in the water. You know, when I got here, I was thinking to myself, what can I do? Should I do a beach thing where uh, I just walk up to a random person and I go, Hey, uh, can I get your number? What is your opinion on Asian men? Do you find me attractive? Oh, no. Well, it was just a social experiment. <laughs> do you guys watch that shit too? If you guys do, just tell me. Be honest with me. I eventually went in the water while this kid was totally staring at me. Couldn't bring my camera into the water, but it was really fun. Just got back to my room. Feeling pretty fantastic. I'm hungry now, so I feel like good American pizza would be nice. Turns out there's a pretty popular pizza place about 30 minutes from where I was staying. For a good pizza, that sounds like a reasonable drive. This looks pretty good. Let's go get some. Oh my god. 
What the hell is this? Oh my god. This is the definition of luxury. Oh my god, so good. This is actually insanely good. May I have this pizza as well? This is so good. It was definitely worth the drive. Oh my god, that was kind of a long day, wasn't it? All I'm gonna have to do now is to enjoy this view and sleep. It started raining the following day, so I was really glad that I was here on time. Just before heading back to Seoul, I found this extremely authentic local restaurant that I had to try. Looks like the place was on TV a bunch of times. This better be good. Really loving the vibe of this place. So what's really cool about this place is that they claim that everything like these are homegrown. There's like a little farm right outside the door. In fact, it's so authentic that um, even the customers in my background and the people that work here, they're homegrown too. The hype around this place wasn't fake news. The food was absolutely amazing. You get this lettuce wrap and then you put a put generous amount of meat in there. Bro, garlic. Wrap it up like a Christmas gift and then put it in your mouth, okay? You don't hesitate. Very good. Now with this, I might make the news for the first time. A YouTuber dies from a food allergy. I'm gonna eat this now. This can go really bad. If I die, somebody please go to my place, format my D drive, delete my browsing history. You can keep the rest. <laughs> Both Chrome and Opera GX, especially Opera GX. Oh, this is be so the story about this type of noodle is that um, this is the kind of noodle that you get at a wedding in Korea, like a traditional wedding in Korea. How do I know? My parents used to own a wedding venue. Yeah, um, they helped a lot of people get married. Too bad they couldn't save their own marriage. <laughs> One thing came out of their marriage, and it's a beautiful child, and he's named Jimmy, and he's right here. <laughs> I love the food so much that I finished everything, except for the squid because I didn't want to die. And with over three hours of driving back, I was back in Seoul. And that's the end of my trip this time. Perhaps next time I should go with someone else. Huh, who should I travel with next time? Suggest someone for me in the comments. Thank you. Also, listen to my songs on Spotify. Thank you.